Hi, I am Science Bob, and thanks for checking out STEM Flicks, brought to you by the fine folks at the Northrop Grumman Foundation. What's our mission? Our mission is to have a little fun while we explore the amazing world of science. In a little while, we're going to show you a great experiment that you can try at home, which will allow you to grow your own crystals, like this. Why crystals? Well, because today we're going to be checking out microelectronics, and crystals are a huge part of that. These microprocessor chips are so packed with electronics and layers that some people compare it to holding a skyscraper in your hand. And it all began with some silicon crystals. Guess where silicon comes from? Sand. So the good news is we're not going to be running out of this stuff anytime soon. Microelectronics is the ability for electronic parts to get even smaller and yet more powerful. And oddly enough, in the world of electronics, the smaller the parts, the more device can do. Take cell phones, for example. In just a short time, we've gone from cell phones like this to cell phones like this. On this cell phone, all you could do was talk. But on this cell phone, you could surf the web, take pictures, shoot video, and of course, my favorite, download apps, all because of microelectronics. Of course, microelectronics are very small, so this might be better explained if we actually went inside. Now, where did I put that app? Ah, there it is. Whoa! Now, we're actually inside of the device, which is why I'm wearing this crazy suit. You see, when they make all of these electronics, even the smallest speck of dust could throw the whole thing off. Uh, this is a circuit board, and on the circuit board, there's a microprocessor, also known as a computer chip. Now, computer chips contain things like transistors, resistors, capacitors, all these different kinds of electronics and they all sit on a little silicon chip. Hey, there's a transistor. Transistors like this one are sort of like electronic switches. They can turn electricity on or off, like when you want to turn the volume up or down. But with microelectronics, these transistors can be made really, really small. So small, in fact, that you could fit 700 million of them on the head of a pin. 700 million of them. That's amazing. Hey, see, it's microelectronics like this that improve things that we use every day. And not just things like cell phones and laptops, but things like washing machines and video games. Well, I'm getting a little claustrophobic in here. I think it's time to get out. Hey, hey you! Well, would you close down this app? Yeah, just push that. All right, now for our experiment. Now, the experiment that I'm going to show you is going to grow crystals from salt, not sand but they're unlike any other salt crystals you may have seen before. Here's what you're going to need. A disposable plastic bowl, a nice new clean sponge, some scissors, a small mixing bowl, some salt, some liquid bluing, which you can get at the laundry aisle in your grocery store, or you can always get it online, some water, some mixing spoons, and of course, your safety goggles. All right, you're going to cut the sponge up into small pieces about an inch square. Lots of little pieces. This is going to be what we use to start the crystals growing. Bunch of pieces, there we go. A few more. Once you've got these all cut, the next thing you're going to want to do is put them all into the bowl. Mix them up, make a nice little pile there. All right, that is perfect. Now, take about four tablespoons of the salt and put that into your small mixing bowl. Great. And then we're going to add to that about four tablespoons of our liquid bluing. You want to take four tablespoons of your water, and you're going to want to mix these all together until the salt dissolves. All right, we've been stirring a couple of minutes here, and most of the salt is dissolved. So the next step is to pour your liquid mixture over your sponges. Get them good and soaked there. And then the final step is going to be to add one more tablespoon of salt over the whole bunch of sponges. There we go. And now we wait. Over the next several days, crystals will start to form. Now be careful because they're pretty fragile. And if the solution gets dry in the dish, you can always add small amounts of water to keep them growing. And here is the end result. It's mysterious and wonderful. You know, just like science. 
I'll be sharing more interesting experiments with you on upcoming episodes of STEM Flicks. Well, thanks for watching and exploring the incredible world of microelectronics. Remember, it's all about making electronics smaller, but yet more powerful. Until next time, I'm Science Bob for STEM Flicks. STEM Flicks, brought to you by the Northrop Grumman Foundation. Inspiring our nation's future scientists, technologists, engineers, mathematicians, and their teachers.